Up until very recently, I always thought that your typical road cyclist was a young man in his 20s who was stick thin. And I must admit that for the longest time, this made even me feel very self-conscious out and about riding. I could see myself and to be frank, I looked like a complete sack of custard. I still do. But then I was talking about this with a friend of mine who was very much in the same situation as me and he pointed out, that, well, he said that, that no, if you look at all of the cyclists or many of the cyclists out and about riding today, they're very much in the same situation that we are. Basically, overweight, middle-aged men. Now at this point, I do have to say that coming from a point of due care, being overweight is unhealthy. And one of the best things that you can ever do for yourself is to try and lose a few kilos as it will reduce your risk of things like heart disease and certain cancers and loads of other horrible things. So if you can lose weight, I strongly recommend that you do. But having said that, getting on a bike is also one of the best things that you can do for your health because it will give you some regular exercise. You will be working your cardiovascular system and increasing your fitness. And if you do combine it with a bit of uh, healthy eating, chances are you will go on and lose a few kilos. So generally speaking, riding a bike is one of the incredibly good things that you can do for yourself. But the big question that we're asking ourselves today is, are you too fat to cycle? Now, I think uh, you, you really do need to think about this question because it's going to mean different things for different people. Uh, I suppose the main question there is, um, is about the bike. Is the bike going to take my weight? Now, what I will say here is that many bikes have a manufacturer's weight limit and never ever be tempted to exceed that. You can find out what that is. Um, if you've got a bike in mind that you fancy buying, uh, you can go onto the manufacturer's website, have a look at the bike's spec sheet, and it should say there fairly clearly what the weight limit of the frame is. Now, never ever be tempted to exceed that because at best, if you damage the frame or if there's an issue, uh, you will void the warranty. Uh, and at worst, what could happen is you could have a failure of that frame while you're riding it. And you could either be injured or ultimately you could be you know, involved in some sort of accident and, you, you know, it could be pretty bad. So never be tempted to exceed the weight limit uh, or, the, or the manufacturer's weight limit of the frame. That said, though, that doesn't cover things like the components, so the wheels um, and the handlebars and things like that. And uh, the issue that I have personally uh, is with wheels. Uh, I frequently have issues with things like braking spokes uh, and shearing axles and stuff like that. But recently I found a couple of manufacturers that hopefully will uh, prevent all of that. Just to give you some idea, um, I've been riding carbon framed road bikes for the last 15 years or so, and I've not once had an issue with the integrity of those frames. They've always held out and they've always supported my weight without any issue. I've also ridden a couple of metal frame bikes as well, uh, and again, I've not had any issues with those at all. And obviously, metal framed bikes are going to be just that little bit more reliable if you are at all worried about the frame taking your weight. I suppose the next question overweight people ask about starting cycling is is it actually going to be good for them and can they do it? Well, cycling is one of these things that you can do as much or as little as you like. 
And if you think about it in terms of going from doing zero exercise to doing some exercise, then it's a fantastic success. Just because you've started cycling, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get on a bike, ride hundreds of kilometers at super fast speeds. Being a cyclist is equally just riding five kilometers around the block and taking it nice and easy. As long as you sort of get your cardiovascular system working, get your legs pumping away, you are actually doing yourself a world of good. One of the things that many overweight people worry about when they first start cycling is what other people will think of them. And no, I'm not going to lie here. When you're out and about riding your bike, yes, there will be one or two very narrow-minded people that will be judging you. But what you have to focus on here is why you're riding the bike in the first place. My guess is that you're riding for fitness or for fun and are you going to let some narrow-minded small person stop you from doing that or are you going to take charge of it and take the win yourself to be fair though most people that you'll see when you're out and about riding your bike will either not care one iota that there's an overweight person cycling or they will either be uh, overwhelmingly supportive seeing somebody who's out doing something positive So the short answer is no, you're not too fat to cycle. If that's what you want to do, I suggest you go out, find a bike and start cycling. Thanks for watching.